Okay, we're going to simplify some uh, logarithmic expressions using the inverse function properties of logarithms. So you can see in the box over on the right hand side, if we have an exponential function inside of a logarithmic function and the bases line up, we get this very nice cancellation and we're just going to be left with whatever the exponent is in that case. The other situation is we could have a logarithmic function inside of an exponential function up in the exponent here. As long as the bases line up, we get this very nice cancellation. And we're going to be left with whatever was inside of the logarithmic function. All right, so to get started here, our goal really is rewrite these so they have the exact same base. So on the first one, log base 10 of 100,000. Well, we can see that our log has base 10. So our goal would be rewrite what's in the inside, the 100,000, as 10 to a power. And with multiples of 10, usually it's pretty easy because you just have to count up how many copies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 copies of 10 multiplied together based on how many zeros there are there. So we said that was 5 copies of 10 multiplied together made the same thing as 100,000. Now we've set ourselves up so we have the same base with the logarithmic part as we do the exponential part. Therefore, we'll get this nice canceling out and we'll just be left with the exponent. Another way we could have written this log base 10, by the way, is sometimes you'll see it without a base indicated. If no base is indicated, that's the common logarithmic function and it automatically means log base 10. All right, on the next one, we have natural log of e to the fifth power. And as you work with these, you'll get used to natural logs and e's naturally go together. Natural log, by definition, is log base e. And we had e to the fifth power on the inside. So as you see, on this one, we happen to get 5 as well because our bases are lined up, and it's very nice. All right, you don't actually have to rewrite that as log base e if you don't want to, um, as long as you understand natural log means log base e. On the next one, in the middle there, natural log of 1 over e to the 8th power. I'm going to work on rewriting this. I don't want it to be 1 over e to the 8th power. I'm going to use an exponent rule and move the e to the 8th power up to the numerator, but we're going to have to make this a negative exponent. So e to the negative 8th is equivalent to 1 over e to the positive 8th. Now that we've lined it up, we're going to get same bases, get nice canceling out as you compose them together. We're only going to be left with that negative 8 as the exponent. Very similar on the next one, log base 3 of 181st. Let's first work on rewriting 81 so you can see that it's 3 to a power. I believe 3 to the 4th power is the same thing as 81, but uh, we can see we have 3 to a power, but it's in the denominator still. Let's do one more step to show our work here. Move that up to the numerator. All right, now we have log base 3, and then 3 raised to a power on the inside, some very nice canceling out, and we're going to be left with negative 4. On the bottom, you can see a few of the more specialized cases. In this case, we have e raised to the natural log of the square root of 7. Well, remember, that natural log automatically means log base e, so we've got nice um, composition. But this one is in the format of the bottom rule here for our inverse function property. So we get that very nice cancellation, and this is just going to equal the square root of 7. Uh, a little easier to see, probably in that middle one, we have 9 raised to the log base, 9 of 5 power. Um, base 9 for both components, so that's going to equal 5. And finally, log base 12 of 1. If we use another one of our exponent rules, we can rewrite 1 as 12 to a power. So we can say log base 12, and then think to ourselves, all right, what raised to 12 raised to what power is equal to 1? Well, anything raised to the 0 power is equal to 1. So you can rewrite that 1 if you're strategic about your exponent rules so that you have a base of 12 on the inside. You're going to get some nice canceling out. It's going to equal 0. All right, hope this helps out as you're working on simplifying logarithmic and exponential functions composed together.